All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom Office. I've been on the road all day long. As a matter of fact, when I was on the road, I jumped into a chat with uh, John Crump and Flying Rich. Uh, I'm going to put the links down below to their uh, YouTube channels. Get over there and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Awesome, folks. John Crump is probably one of the most legitimate uh, YouTube channels when it comes to gaining news. I know we got our favorites, Jared and all the rest, but uh, honestly... He's a pretty good dude. All right, so what am I doing? I'm having a cocktail because I have to drink after what I just watched with the uh, 1808 vote, HR 1808, the assault weapons ban. Okay, so what do we got here? Uh, they went through a recommit, uh, decided not to do any amendments to the the, uh, the bill. And of course, when you have the house that's completely overrun with a bunch of rats, uh, yeah, that's what you're going to get. But I want to talk about the two biggest rats. There's actually three of them. Uh, on the Republican side, two people actually voted uh, yay on this thing. And then there was a no vote. We shall find out who those individuals are here very shortly. But that's it. So uh, the other day, I was, you know, we were jumping on the news and hearing it, uh, that uh, people were saying that uh, they didn't have the votes. And one of the reasons why they did that. Now, I got a bunch of emails from a bunch of folks saying they're putting the vote today. And uh, it was interesting to watch this whole thing. Uh, let's do this. I'm going to show you. Uh, so they had 215, 217 yays, two uh, Republicans, and 215 Democrats. Actually, was really surprised that, and I thought there would have been more, but the Democrats, there were five Democrats that voted nay and 208, uh, equaling 217 to 213. So, uh, you know, we had a no vote and two uh, turncoats. Uh, what do you call those guys? Uh, uh, what was that guy that they hung in the Civil War, not Civil War, Revolutionary War, uh, that uh, cheated us out? He was, a, he was a treasonous. These guys are all treasonous. Uh, so anyway, it was interesting to hear the arguments and things that, like that. So the way that it works is now that the House has passed the H.R. 1808, it will now have to go to the Senate. And in speaking with John Crump, uh, he is a, a, an incredible source of news, actually, uh, John Crump News. He, he has uh, a lot of contacts in the industry, and he informed me that uh, he believes, and he's been told, they do not have the votes in the Senate to make this thing pass. Because it's got to go uh, 60, they have to get 60 votes in order to make this thing pass. But, uh, and secondly, the reason I'm having to have a drink is because once it was passed, Nancy Pelosi got up there and did her thing. It was absolutely disgusting. So, yeah, uh, the big thing here is that not only are they going after just anything that resembles uh, an AR-15, but they're going after anything that could be fully automatic. Now, I have not read the bill myself. I'm probably going to educate myself this weekend on it, and I'll, we'll talk more about it, 1808. But, wow. <coughs> Hold on, guys. I have to... Mm -hmm. Eight hours on the damn road. Uh, absolutely crazy. We do have uh, a new bullet that we're testing out from the guys out of Callaway Ballistics. Remember, KB32 TAC is a discount code with free shipping and orders over $200. Uh, so that's pretty interesting. But uh, there's a, uh, I did get to function test a, an AR this last weekend, uh, this week, uh, because my 500, 1,000, and 100 yard ranges were closed. I couldn't test out the 77 grain from Callaway Ballistics. But Palmetto State Armory uh, was uh, one of the kids in my neighborhood. He's 18 years old, Eagle Scout, uh, pretty neat dude. Uh, we, I helped him put that together, and uh, then I took it up there to function test, and it ran like a dream. So anyway, that's it, man. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are down below. This whole thing was a crock of shit from the get-go. Um, yeah, Dave C Cicilline. I absolutely, his, his voice just grinds on my soul when I hear it. It's just that that nasally northern thing to have going on. Nothing against northerners, okay, but he's a nasally northerner. Uh, but the two Republicans that voted uh, yay on this thing, or yes, uh, I, I would like to know who the hell they were. So if you guys know who that is, uh, please let me know down below. But it was really close. Yeah. And I was doing the math the whole time. So we were overrun by four votes. Uh, it would have been two... Uh, let's see, 216 
to 216, uh, 214 had the the, uh, the no vote had gone to us, and those two Republicans had not voted nay. So with that being said, guys, that's it. Uh, the House passes HR 81808, the assault weapons ban. So that's it. Y'all, let me know what your thoughts are down below. It's KB32. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, uniform, 24/7 for our freedoms. Freedom is not free. I'm out of here. And in the great, infinite words of my friend, the great Cobra Burnout. Boom.